Welcome back guys, or if you're new to my channel, this is Automotive Anonymous, and that's the all new, brand new iForce Max Hybrid Land Cruiser by Toyota. These are not cheap. The MSRP pretty high, a lot of them can be well over $60,000, and that's before any crazy dealer markups, which I suggest you never pay for. But I wanna share my initial impressions to the exterior design of the Land Cruiser, because it was pretty polarizing when I first came to town to see it today. I actually was here filming another video, and I decided some of you guys might benefit from getting an impressions video of the exterior of the new Land Cruiser because not very many people have seen these yet. And honestly, although it's not as polarizing as a Cybertruck, which I've seen a number of those, this actually does really stand out and it's pretty interesting. So let's come around to the front and let's talk about it for just a few minutes and I'll keep this pretty short. But I wanna mention for paying 60, 70, $80,000 for one of these, there's a lot of plastic a lot of cheapness to it. There isn't even a front facing camera, although that plate looks like it could be removed on higher trim levels and maybe amber lighting could be installed in those little divots. If you need, obviously it's not wide enough to actually justify that. There is a little bit of airflow that can come through the front side of the bumper and the radiator you can see back there. I'm sure there's an intercooler. Yep, that looks like the top part. And you can see the little black horns in there as well. So it looks like there's quite a bit of space between the front grille and the front radiator. These headlights, they say Land Cruiser. You have a halo ring around them and you have a projector headlight. We can't tell if these are LEDs. I'm sure they are. I doubt they would be, you know, anything else on this pricey of a vehicle. But actually, it's pretty cool. The sides, the wheels are a little bit bigger than I'd like. It does have just a Yokohama tire. It's an all season. It really doesn't actually seem to have that much tread depth, but I didn't bring my measure with me today. And then this is what the front suspension looks like. Pretty interesting. You can see the side of the engine in there as well, some of the accessories off of it. And you do have enough wheel well gap that you could maybe go a size bigger tire, but I don't know that you could go more than maybe an inch, inch and a half before you start to get some rubbing. There's a there's a little bit of, of gap, you know, on the front fender, maybe a tiny bit more on the rear. And if I can find the payload capacity, I'll post that for you guys to overlay it. But usually when I actually review vehicles, and I look at the window sticker and the payload sticker on the inner door, and I post that every time, it's usually lower than you actually see what it's rated online, just because that's probably the base model spec, which weighs the least that you would see. But you can see the frame right there. You can see a lot of the fuel rails, the suspension components, things like that. You do have a spare tire underneath, full size. Can't quite tell if it's the same rim or not. And then you have the springs and you have a lot of the other suspension. From the looks of this, it doesn't seem like it has any more ground clearance than my Outback Wilderness, but it looks like a pretty good suspension setup, and there's always gonna be room to grow. This is the iForce Max, so it's the hybrid turbo four cylinder. The rear end honestly looks really boxy. It looks really tall, and it's definitely taller than it is wide in person. It's obviously on a little bit of a pedestal being driven up on this spot. You can see the single exhaust tip right there, and it's actually pretty wide for being a four cylinder turbo you know, just a few hundred horsepower. But Land Cruiser is written on the black, more plastics. You have the button to lift it down there. No pin code or any other ways to get into it. You have the backup camera. The glass does lift up individually from the hatch, which I do think is a pretty cool feature. You have the third brake light up there. You have the shark fin antenna and the black spoiler. Black accent lines right here. Good visibility overall, though the front windows are definitely really wide. And then the second row is kind of like the F-150 and how the front is lower and then it comes up in the rear. So pretty interesting design characteristics and styling by Toyota. You have the single wiper blade in the back. You have a lot more cheap plastics. I guess those can easily be damaged off-road and likely replaced. You have a little bit of fender arch, all plastic materials as well. A very horizontal gas door, but at least it's on the driver's side, which I appreciate. Obviously the mirrors fold in and they kind of remind me of my old FJ Cruiser days. This one has been sold. The interior is cloth. So I'd honestly expect a little bit more for cloth seats when you're paying 60, 70, 80 grand. But at least you have a grab handle on the A pillar and the B pillar. And it looks like you have a handle up there on the roof as well, where you usually have, like on the back, you have the spot to hang up clothes with the little uh, spot that comes down. The front door panel actually looks pretty well sized, as does the back. The back doesn't noticeably look smaller, but this does look to be about the same size as a Toyota Foreigner. It just seems like it's about that same size of SUV. I haven't seen the new Foreigner in person yet, but it will be interesting to see where this compares and competes against that because it seems like Toyota's competing against themselves at this point. 
And obviously the Land Cruiser is in the same family as the GX 550, the brand new uh, version of this, the Lexus version, the luxury one. But honestly, it does look pretty cool in person. It does look pretty polarizing. And I want to know your thoughts and opinions below. So if you appreciate this exterior walk around, please consider liking this video. Comment your thoughts and opinion below as mentioned. If you like the buttons, the little hidden tidbits that Toyota put on this. Yeah, let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope to do a full review of one of these soon. And until next time, guys, I wish you the best. Take care.